Hey there, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to my channel, Winning and Living Golden. I am Lisa L. McLean. I'm here with you on this episode of Winning with Lisa, where we win, we win, we win. And what we are doing today is Life Topic Wednesday. So on this channel, as a matter of fact, go ahead, click like, Share this broadcast with someone who um, you believe would really benefit from um, encouraging words, uplifting um, information for their life. Um, and go ahead and, and click that uh, little bell, the alert button, so that you can get notified when I have more broadcasts. I want to be able to share tasty topics on this channel um, around the areas of life, finance, heart and spirit, and business. And so today we are doing a Life Topic Wednesday. And today's topic, y'all ready for this? Today's topic is, if you fall seven times, get up eight. That's right. Fall seven times, get up eight. And so this concept came to me and I, I know the scriptural reference, but this is a little bit different. And so I wanted to share uh, this encouragement today. We've got to choose to never give up hope. We've got to always be striving for more, for better, for the best that life has to offer us, right? Don't focus on the reality that we see in front of us, that we see around us. We have to focus on the greater vision the greater vision of the reality that's yet to come, that's yet to be. And so that's what this concept of falling down and getting back up is all about. It speaks to our resilience and, and our insistence that no matter what comes, no matter uh, how many times we got, get knocked down, um, no matter how many times we go through something, we've got to get up. We've got to get back up. Even Cardi B said, knock me down nine times, I get up 10. So Cardi B knew the, the concept. She's got it down. We've got to keep getting up, keep trying. Success doesn't normally come fast, guys. So, you know, this is a concept that we've really got to wrap our mind around. And, and, it, and when we embrace the understanding of that, that success takes time, you know, we will live a happier life because we have adjusted our expectation that success is supposed to come just like that. So, you know, success doesn't come fast, but we've got to do our absolute best and just remain persistent. Never give up. Stick with the task until that task is completed. Be tenacious, be persistent persistent until uh, you experience that success. And I want to want to tell you that when we get up, that get up is a success. I want you to see that getting up is a success. It's a mini success. So we have many successes, many successes along the way, many successes and many successes along our journey. And getting up is one of those. Um, Nelson Mandela said, do not judge me by my successes. Judge me by how many times I fell down and got back up again. Right? And so I wanted to share this concept today to encourage us to never give up and to fight on. Proverbs 24, 16 tells us, for a righteous man falls down seven times and rises up again. So, and you've heard it also said that old, that old saying that uh, you can't keep a good man down. <laughs> well, a person who trusts in the Lord and depends on God throughout their life, they may fall, they may trip over and over again in, in life, but they always get back, get back up and they won't stay down. So I want to want to um, hone in on this concept of getting up eight times, because when you think about it, you fall down, you get back up, you fall down, you get back up. So 
falling seven times and getting back up, it's, you would think it's a seven time getting back up. But this says, fall down seven times, get back up eight. And that's a Japanese proverb. The Japanese proverb says, if you fall down seven times, get back up eight. And so I um, believe that this proverb is giving us uh, a key to a double stand, a double stand, an extra stand. And in this extra stand, I believe that when we get up that eighth time, it breaks the pattern and, and, and we get to internalize the stand within us. So we are no longer standing up as an action. It's, it's no longer just an action. It's something that we do, but it's something that we are. We are the get up. We are the stand up. And so when we do that, it becomes characteristic of who we are. We're a fighter, a resilient one who never gives up. And so I wanted to make sure that we have this concept of falling down. We are going to fall down in life. Things are going to knock us down and almost knock the wind out of us. But we've got to keep moving. We've got to get back up. We've got to stand. And so I want to leave you with this. Life is less about what happens to us, but rather it's more about how we handle the challenges of life. Not about what happens, what we go through, but how we handle, how we manage life's challenges. So what happens to us, it strengthens us, it fortifies us, it gives us experiences to make us better, to make us uh, um, stronger. Right, And we've all heard that, that trials come to make us strong. But they also come to help us relate to each other. When we go through things in life, we're able to empathize with our brother and our sister, with one another. And so it, it humanizes us. It, it keeps us on common ground so that we can uh, relate to one another and be able to empathize. So it's not, but it's not about what we go through. It's about how we handle it. How we handle a situation, that getting up is proof of who we are. It's evidence of who we are. And that's why I said that get up eight times, that eight when we internalize it, internalize that, it becomes who we are. We are the get up. So I want to thank you again, Lisa L. McLean. I'm so happy uh, that you decided to join in on this broadcast today. I hope you'll come back and um, allow me to share more tidbits with you, more tasty topics with you about life, heart and spirit, business and finances. I'll see you back here on Wednesdays and on Sundays for Word and Worship with Lisa. So Come back and join in on the fun. I look forward to seeing you then. And never forget, we win. We win. We win. All right, see y'all later. Take care.